Hello everyone, I hope you all are taking good care of your teeth. Yeah. So um, today let's talk about uh, dental crowns. So what are dental crowns? Dental crowns are commonly known as dental cap, right? Which is going to encircle your whole tooth structures. Okay, so it's going to look uh, something like this. So this is your dental crown. This is your dental crown. Yeah, I hope you are able to see this. So yeah, so what are the indications of dental crowns? So when does your dentist actually suggest you go for dental crowns? So the first uh, main indication for dental crown is when the tooth is root canal treated. So what happens is uh, if your tooth is root canal treated, the tooth tend to lose its original strength. That means more than 50% of your tooth structure will be gone. So what happens is the strength of the tooth is compromised and when you try to chew on a root canal treated tooth it tends to break so to protect you're going to cover the tooth with a dental crown so that's the first indication and what about the second indication the second indication is when there's a large filling so when a filling is so large like almost 60 percent or more than 50 percent of your tooth structure is gone or there's a very large cavity and when the filling is dominating and when there is very less tooth structure then definitely what happens is when you try to bite on that kind of filled tooth the chewing forces is mainly on the filling and not on the tooth structure so what happens it turns to it tends to break right so in such cases also it's advisable to put a crown so that the chewing forces is equally distributed so the tooth is also reinforced yeah that's the second indication and the third indication is when there's a broken tooth especially in the front part right so most of them uh, tend to fall down and the front tooth is broken down so then also it's better to go for a crown rather than going for a filling because even if you try to put a filling the filling is not going to stick to the tooth structure because there's no support yeah but the crown is going to encircle your tooth from all four sides so it tends to last longer and a fourth indication is when there is gaps between your tooth structure so uh, the ideal uh, treatment for gaps is to go for clip treatment or orthodontic treatment but if there's no time at all and if you're absolutely not willing to go for orthodontic treatment or if uh, your case uh, is not permitting you to go for orthodontic treatment then the second best option would be to go for crowns and fifth indication is when there's a discolored tooth when there's an intrinsic stain if there's an extrinsic stain then definitely you can go for scaling and you can get back to your original color but if the tooth is completely discolored and if it cannot be treated by any means then you will have to cover it with a crown so these are the indications right so now i'll talk to you about the types of crowns so what are the different types of crowns so traditionally they were using metal crowns uh, so definitely metal crowns are not advised now because uh, for the main fact that it is very unpleasant and the color itself is not agreeable and second reason why metal crowns are not used is uh, when you uh, put a metal crown when you try to bite on that the opposite real tooth tends to wear off so it's definitely harmful to your opposite tooth when you try when when you try to chew on that and the third reason why the metal crown is not indicated is some people are allergic to metal yeah so these are the uh, reasons why we don't tend to use metal crowns anymore and the second uh, crown which we uh, are using is porcelain fused to metal that means there's a layer of metal inside and there's a coating of tooth colored material which is called as porcelain is used nowadays but what happens is the bonding between the metal and the porcelain tends to weaken day by day as a result the metal layer which is inside may show up over a period of time so therefore the best crown material which we are using nowadays is called as a 
of one of the best material which we are using nowadays yeah because zirconia is a fully ceramic there's no metal layer and it is one of the strongest material and you can exert a good amount of chewing forces and you can definitely uh, use it over a dental implant as well and it looks more natural color wise structure wise durability wise definitely zirconium is the best dental so i am going to uh, show you some pictures uh, so that you will get more information regarding dental crowns yeah this is what i was talking about this is your uh, zirconium crown and this is your porcelain fused metal crown so uh, this is what i was talking about the layer of porcelain is chipped off and metal is shown and that's the reason why I told you that zirconium is any way better than your porcelain used to metal and I was even telling you uh, why zirconium is better is because it tends to give you a natural appearance so you can see here that the crown has been placed on the front of teeth but you can't even make up with the crowns that have been placed with that zirconium so when there is a uh, discolored tooth you can go for crowns so these are uh, some a few information uh, which i wanted to give you today so uh, i hope uh, you keep watching my videos more keep watching because i'm going to give you more information and do visit partha dental we are going to help you out with each and every problem what you're facing with your teeth yeah do take good care of your teeth thank you